Nope, you don't have to stick around. Nicole's my best friend, too. I'm happy to be here. You know, I think we all need a, a Dane in our life. Uh, what a friend. You know, I kept having to remind myself, you know, what the, it's based on, a, on true events. And I just, as I'm watching the story unfold, it's just incredible, you know, how a friend really kind of gave up their life for others. What struck you most when you read this script and learned that this is a true story? Yeah, I think that what hit me most, well, there's the selflessness of Dane. Um, and one of the things I think they captured really well in the script is not making Dane some sort of uh, inhuman martyr um, who's all good, but what does it mean that someone can give up their whole life to be there for his friends? There's, there's a deeper story there too as well. Um, Dane needs some redemption in his own right. But what I think... What I think got me most about the story and the script is that somebody went through as big a tragedy as you will go through in your whole life and emerged um, viewing it as a story of friendship. Uh, I think that's the beauty of the movie. Were you able to work with any of the real people involved, you know, uh, with this story? Yes, Matthew Teague, who wrote the article, who Casey Affleck plays, also wrote the script um, with Brad Inglesby and was there almost every day to ask questions to and um, and to just intimidate us from Video Village. <laughs> I get it. Hey, so what is your takeaway? Because, you know, I ask the question every now and then, like, you know, what do you hope people say the conversation is after the movie? I'm twisting it on you today, Jason. Like your takeaway from this had to have been just, you know, like really appreciate the people in your life, maybe? I mean, what, what did you from this role? Well, I think that it was uh, be the friend in action that you are in your head you know like i fancy myself a really good friend if my friends ever needed me i'd be there but what that really looks like is just doing nothing because unless they're calling you you're just like oh i'm a good friend i started being more proactive you know and calling people and checking in because i'm not very good at it so i assume other people aren't either um someone's got to pick up the phone 